नमस्कार आई एम अनुभव रंजन एंड यू आर वाचिंग रिथम इन अप्रैल 2016 द बिहार गवर्नमेंट प्राउडली अनाउंस द इंप्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ प्रोहिबिशन ऑफ लिक्कर कॉलिंग इट अ हिस्टोरिक स्टेप येट नियरली एट इयर्स लेटर द स्टेट रिमेन्स हॉन्टेड बाय द डेडली ड्रिप ऑफ टॉक्सिक एल्कोहल ट्रेजिक रिपोर्ट्स हैव एमर्ज दैट थर्टी पीपल इंक्लूडिंग वन वुमेन हैव लॉस देयर लाइफ ड्यू टू पॉइजनस लिक्कर अक्रॉस सिक्सटीन विलेजेस इन बिहार On Thursday, October 16, three more deaths were reported in Sivan and two in Saran, pushing the grim toll to 26 in Sivan and 10 in Saran. However, the administration has only officially acknowledged 24 of these fatalities. Disturbingly, all the victims in Saran had consumed alcohol on October 15. Adding to the tragedy, 44 people are currently in critical condition. In Sivan, five individuals have lost their eyesight, while two in Saran have suffered the same fate. Thirty-four people are receiving treatment at Sivan Sadar Hospital, while one is hospitalized in Chhapra. Some from Saran have been transferred to Patna's PMCH for further care. According to police investigations, many consumed the pouch liquor sold in Bhagwanpur Hut, Sivan, on October 13. Shockingly, a supplier even delivered this fatal brew to people's homes. The lethal alcohol responsible for the deaths of 30 individuals was prepared by a notorious smuggler Mithilesh Rai from Damcho. Rai produced the liquor using spirit and sold it to illegal traders who then distributed it across several villages after the shara. Soon after its consumption, people began dying. Rai, a long-time figure in the illicit liquor trade, is now at the center of a police investigation. Authorities have arrested eight suspects and formed a special investigation team to hunt down others involved in the fatal network. Over the past 8 years, more than 156 people have died from consuming illegal alcohol in Bihar. A senior officer from the state's prohibition and excise department revealed in September 2024 that the total number of suspected deaths from toxic liquor stands at 266, though only 156 have been officially confirmed. The district's hardest hit by these tragic deaths include Saran, Gaya, Bhojpur, Baksar and Gopalganj. In addition to these over 1.2 million people have been arrested for violating prohibition laws in the state. This raises a crucial question. Is Bihar's prohibition policy effective in practice or is it merely a regulation on paper? The growing number of deaths and the flourishing illegal alcohol trade suggests that the government has failed to curb the smuggling and sale of illicit liquor. Whether in urban centers or rural areas, toxic alcohol has claimed the lives of dozens, casting a shadow over the state's law enforcement and policy framework. As the death toll continues to rise, it is becoming increasingly evident that Bihar's prohibition policies need urgent reform. The government must go beyond surface level enforcement and take meaningful ground level action. The police and administration must devise a robust strategy to dismantle the illegal liquor networks that have spread across the state. Beyond strict enforcement, there is an urgent need for widespread public awareness and education about the dangers of illegal alcohol. Laws alone are not enough. It will take a united effort from all sections of society to end this deadly trade. The question remains: Is the Bihar government prepared to face this growing crisis or will the problem worsen? Now is the time to address the issue with seriousness it demands and work collectively towards a solution. Jai Hind.